chapter two, problem number 67. Uh, the main problem is it tells us that a flea can cross a distance and it can take off at one meter per second over the space of half a millimeter, I believe. Yeah, half a millimeter. It asks us three questions about that. First, what is the acceleration when it jumps? Two, how long does that last? And then three, how high will it go if it just keeps going straight up? I just want to make sure I read those off right. So, this is where the ultra problem best left to uh, the good old classic of V of squared equals initial plus two n and change it to V. And then just surprising it as needed. So for the first part of the question, what is acceleration during this period when it's meter per second at uh, zero and half, mil and half a million? So we know it's one second. Initials two plus two a. And then change in time, which is 0 0.55 millimeters. I just have it as this. So then we just plug the numbers in, and we get a equals 1,000 meters per second squared. That is like acceleration during that period of time. Then ask us how long does this last? So then, using a very similar equation, which is v squared equals vi. No, oh, wait, I messed this one up. Bf equals vi plus a y t. Just, just have that be respective to t instead because that's easier. Plug in the relevant numbers. So, for example, our watch is 1, initial is 0. We know how fast they go. A thousand, and we get the interesting thing of ten minus three seconds. A ten to the power negative three seconds. Uh, this fraction of the name. I mean, to be exact, it's just one over a thousand seconds. But that looks better. Anyways, that looks defined. Anyways, so that's the second problem: how long that tar process takes, and then it's on how far high, how high up is it going to go? Ignoring air resistance. So then we use the same, same deal here. Just one more time. So we know that, for example, final velocity, we know the final velocity of one, initial velocity of zero, plug in gravity, all that jazz. What we get is y equals 0 0.051 meters. We're using the same exact same equation. I, I should probably clarify this on a little bit. So for this final part here, so I'm sorry, this only have half of this. What is the rest of that? Okay, so yeah, like, we know the, initial, the final velocity is going to be a meter per second. We know the initial velocity is zero. We know, and by the way, I have an acceleration here. I use gravity instead. The real thing here is just finding, uh, I mean, to be exact, that's going to be like y. That's y, y f minus y. Like that's what that actually is. But regardless, we solve for that. We get this number, pretty more exact, 51 centimeters. I felt like I was explaining that kind of clearly. Like, I'm still using the exact same question. Like, honestly, for this entire problem, it really is just relying on this general thing here. So, yeah.